tale begins in Atlas Room, where the Lord of the Castle has called for heroes to come to his aid and defend him against the mad Dr. Junkenstein. Finally, a gaming mode where it's just a normal round of Junkenstein's revenge. They were to defend the castle against Dr. Junkenstein and his minions. Dr. Junkenstein laughed as his minions arose, but tonight was the night of Junkenstein's revenge. Thank you for watching the, this week's the um, the one game that I wish Vikings never it got better, and I'm still contemplating on whether or not I should get part two, aka Overwatch. Appreciate the love and support here. Now, don't get me wrong, when Overwatch first came out, I was just hardcore playing it every day for like months and months on end. But now that i slowly seen the creators just, you know, leaving it to almost die, I feel a little bit sad just watching a potential great game go to waste. And yeah, Overwatch 2 is coming out in October, and we're supposed to get new characters, new maps, new modes, cool, but I think it's a little too late for that, don't you think? This game has been so complacent for so long that even if we do supposedly get new content, it still feels very lackluster. Almost as if, what's the point, you know? I'm still going to give Overwatch 2 a chance because I definitely want to see what type of direction they are trying to bring out with this game. And... I'm going I'm going to make an official statement here and right now. You could definitely quote me on this. If Overwatch 2 ends up being crappy, I'm going to give Apex a chance. That's right. If Overwatch 2 turns out to be horrible, I will be playing Apex in a later season of my channel. I mean it. Ooh. Oh, I shot him like a boss. That is so sexy right there. I've been... Looking at another YouTube creator by the name of Iceberg, and he's been playing a lot of Apex Legends, and it's actually oh, pretty interesting. It does give me a same type of vibe and feel as any other Overwatch game. So, if Overwatch 2 turns out to be a big fat dub, I will start playing Apex. And the game's for free. So I'm not really losing anything with a free game. And that's another thing with Overwatch 2. How are you gonna go and have us pay for an updated DLC? Think about it. When you look at the product details of Overwatch 2, it is not a physical Overwatch 2 copy. It is an updated DLC that will replace the main game. I am basically paying for an overpriced, overhyped, downloadable content. 
yeah, it's 40 bucks, but damn. I think that's a little bit too pricey for even a downloadable content that supposedly has, a, like, a new story mode to it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I really do appreciate what Overwatch has done. Introduced me to some of my favorite characters that I enjoy playing. I mean, when I first got the game, the only reason why I got Overwatch was because of Ash. And you know what? I stayed because of Sombra. Along with D.Va, Mercy, like I love all of these characters, but I don't know. And then on top of that, not only are we going to pay for an overhyped story-based DLC, but they are reworking a lot of these characters that does not need to be reworked at all. Like, for instance, with Bastion. I'm not a Bastion main, but I actually felt pretty bad for Bastion players when I heard about this. Um, they're going to take away his ability to self-heal. Like, who said that was a great idea? Not only does that not make sense, but now you're gonna put even more pressure on Mercy mains. Sure, the team layout's gonna be going down from 6 to 5, but as a Mercy main, that means I have one more person I have to worry about. How is that fair on my end? It's not. It's really not. But the Reaper had been felled, but... The wanderers felt sure that he would return. Bingo! I know that I've been quote unquote complaining for the past like eight minutes, but right now I'm just I'm just in in my feelings at the moment, feeling a little bit mellow. So I'm just venting a little bit. Like, Overwatch was one of my comfort games. And yet, that comfort is just slowly becoming a nuisance to me. It's sad seeing the things you once loved just not give you any type of interest anymore, you know? The only reason why I'm playing Overwatch is because of the fact that I wanted to play on my channel. If it wasn't for that, I would have been. I wouldn't be touching this game for another year or so. So, I really have high hopes for Overwatch 2. If it's gonna be just as good as they say it is, then obviously my love for Overwatch will reappear, but. I don't know. Let's see what happens. At this point, Overwatch has a lot to lose. I mean, for crying out loud, we used to have 40 million players, and now how many people do we have left? Not a lot. Last time I've read an article, probably like 3, 4 million players. And that says a lot. Ooh. 
Ooh. Ooh. Ooh. Almost got killed. Come on. Come on. And the monster fell just as his creator. Yes. Before heroes entered the castle to receive their rewards. Now that is a really good game. Cheers. Nice. Okay, let me see what Torbjorn did. I'm curious. That's why. That makes sense. Good game. Hear me. Our tale begins in Adler's room, where the lord of the castle has called for heroes to come to his aid and defend him against the mad Dr. Junkenstein. I know I'm replaying the same character, but like I said, since I'm not able to play Sombra, I might as well, I might as well just play one of my other favorite characters, which is Ash. You know, Overwatch does have a lot of potential to, to release Junk really good content. I mean, look at Junkenstein's Revenge. There's a reason why this mode keeps on popping up year after year, season after season, even after a couple years of its release, because it's a good, fun mode to have. This is the type of stuff that I like to see from Overwatch. What's the Countess need to learn to shoot like that? Too many shoot doves. The thing is, though, Overwatch definitely has let itself go, and it's pretty sad. I mean, I have so many memories of this game. I remember my cousin who I no longer speak to anymore, he was telling me about this game. And at first, I wasn't really feeling it because I thought it was too cartoony, too corny. But the thing that really got me into the game was actually the lore, the story behind each character of the roster. You here, Gunslinger? I even Fire went as far as We're watching vampire, the videos. Witches reading up on who they are as a person, their struggles, their personal demons, what they had to deal with. And it was one of the best storytelling I had the pleasure of ingesting. The pleasure of finding, getting to know. Like, it's almost as if I was actually getting to know someone, getting to know a possible new friend. Like, I enjoy some of these characters. And because of the lore, that was a factor of me giving Overwatch a chance been in your and playing the game. Time. It was built when I was young. As soon as I started playing the game, I was just buck wild uh, with excitement. I would tell all my little cousins about it, about how fun the game was, how they have so many characters that they can choose to play with. And not only that, I was so enthusiastic about the game, I actually slowly convinced a couple of my cousins to play the game. So I got a copy of Overwatch, not only for myself, I got another copy from my little cousin, another cousin of mine. He loved it. I remember playing with him. And he would always main either Wrecking Ball or Soldier. Because, you know, they were pretty easy characters to deal with. But he loved it, nonetheless. And then I told one of my former friends 
and I told him to give him a chance. So after I gave him a copy of Overwatch, he started playing it. And his main, he would always choose between Reaper or even who else did he play as? Sometimes he would play as Roadhog, but he was a real hardcore Reaper fan. And of course, the cousin who originally showed me Overwatch, I would play with him as well. And he would main the shit out of Reinhardt and Roadhog. Because he's the type that would like to use tanks to eat up as much damage as possible. Step right the doctor's creation had been twisted into a So after a getting a whole bunch of people to far. go and play Overwatch, the we would actually have have an Overwatch crew where every weekend we would come together and we would just play Overwatch for hours and hours on end. It would be me my two cousins, the friend, and one random person. And we would just play endless of hours of Overwatch. No one can hide from my sight. And that definitely created so much memories. I miss it, I really do. As the summoner appeared in their midst. Overwatch will always have a nice place in my heart because of the fact that it brought so much memories between my former friend and my cousin. And that's why I'm just a little bit adamant and a little bit hesitant to give Overwatch to a chance because if Overwatch turns out to be pretty corny, I'm just, I don't know, I'll be really disappointed. But I'm going to give the game a chance regardless, because why not? The outlaw weathered the summoner's magic and struck her down. Dragon magic's not enough. No one can hide from my sight. Like I said, if Overwatch 2 turns out to be a dub, I'm going to give Apex Legends a chance. One of two outcomes could happen. Either Overwatch 2 is so good that I'll become obsessed again, or Overwatch 2 turns out to be so bad that I end up finding a new game to love. Either way, those two outcomes don't really sound bad at all to me. It really doesn't. The Eldross lose a Reaper, though she still felt his presence in the darkness. I know sometimes with gaming companies, they like to do changes just to keep up with the demands of their their customers not even their players we're not players anymore we're basically their customers i just feel like overwatch has done so many ill-advised choices so many corny choices that it definitely dimmed out the shine of overwatch Oh. The Reaper had been fed. The Wanderers felt sure that he was not like he was coming. Anyways. In the midst of the battle, 
Junkenstein's most Step powerful ladder. ally appear. The witch. My servants never die. I love how she's talking, but her mouth is not moving. Like, what the fuck is that about? The witch has returned the fallen from beyond the grave. Come on, bunny. Come on, Bob. We got this. We got this. Ah, uh, there goes the witch. Come on. Thank you. Ooh. Ooh. The countess is short, punctuating the end of Dr. Junkenstein's sad story. You know why you want to bully my 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 teammate? You're gonna get an ass whooping. There you go. There you go. Ooh. Why is the screen shaking like that? The four heroes entered the castle to receive their rewards. Hey, nothing wrong with another win. All right, Cassidy, so what did you do to get player of the game? Hey, nice. No one can hide from my sight. Our tale begins in Atlas Room, where the Lord of the Castle has called for heroes to come to his aid and defend him against the mad Dr. Junkenstein. Okay, so I just love how as soon as I finish last ma match, Overwatch now likes to change the Junker Science Revenge mode and adds in the usual quirks. So in this mode, the only, only difference is the zombie robots are just moving Stein stupid Stein. fast, so. Dr. Junkenstein loved as his minions arose, but tonight was the night. Okay, so how dummy fast are we talking? Dr. Junkenstein's forces cross the battlefield with uncharacteristic speed, much to the hero's dismay. Yep, because we're not gonna be able to breathe. But guess what? More reasons to keep on shooting. Yeehaw! Wanna be a cowgirl, baby? Damn. I mean, no one's coming through here, so I might as well just shoot. Oh! There you go. There you go. Come on. Nice. If I can't get you with my gun or shotgun, I'm gonna get you with my dynamite! I know a man trying to escape his past when I see one. He is not run your shadow, isn't it? Huh, interesting. Get ready for a shot. Oh shit. Yeah, they are coming so fast at this point. Thank god I have like another person with me because it would have been awkward nonetheless. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 shit. Oh, fuck. The sonics crashed against the door, their bodies exploding as the old wood splintered and shuddered. I like how he just gave up. That is so funny to me. <laughs> okay, so I'm not gonna do any, uh, sniper shots, whatever. I've been looking for a medic and a marksman to join my operation. It's like in this mode you have to have a trigger finger and even then it's just so hard to do because your finger gets tired after a while. Like, the how? Really? Can you come from my depression and anxiety instead? I would really much appreciate that. Yeah, get him, Bob! Get him! 
There you go. Ooh, at least I'm looking good while killing all these zombie robots, so... So, another thing I'm also hearing, instead of having the loot boxes, Overwatch wants us to individually pay for skins. And knowing how greedy these gaming companies are, who knows if these skins are going to be the standard 10 to $20. Which, if that's the case, I'm gonna cry. Because their thing is, due to the recent complaints about some parents, they think having the loot boxes encourages kids to gamble. Because with the loot boxes, even though you do get some stuff, it's basically a matter of rolling the dice on what you can get exactly. Whoever you are, you've been a stalwart companion this night. As have you, my friend. We faced the Reaper together. The ground shook as Dr. Junkenstein's creation was revealed. Cool. Oh no! The monster! It's here! Alright, so right here. And then get him. There you go. There you go. Come on. All right, let me get back to my post now. Whoo, they are coming in so fast. So fast. I'm just happy this door is still standing though, so we're, we're doing good. We are doing good. Where? Oh no, not in front of my salad, he- you won't. I'm gonna let her come over here because... Where? Anyways, not in front of my salad. Bitch, how you gonna try and- Thank you. Alright, bye. I'm going back to my post. If that is not play of the game, I don't even know what the fuck it is at this point. I am so happy that I'm good with my hands. Not because I'm a lesbian, but because I'm a gamer. Oh no, he's here. Anyways, since I don't have enough of my ultimate. Oh, now I do! Yay! Oh! Oh, what an asshole. I'm gonna get you. Watch. Oh! Yeah, thanks to me, the fuck? Listen, if the door breaks, the door breaks. That issue's between the door and the god. That's it. The soldier strikes found their marks. And Dr. Junkenstein was slain. Shit. Down goes the duck. Thank you. 
No, not not in front of my salad. Sorry. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hold on. I got it. Thank you. Bitch. I'm trying here, bro. These hooligans are doing way too much. Who told them it was okay to be fast? Like Oh, Lord have mercy. This door is about to blow! Yeah, we're not gonna make it, but fuck it. I'm gonna kill as much as possible, because what else is left to do at this point, you know what I mean? Ya tu sabes. In the midst of the battle, Junkenstein's most powerful ally appears. Who? The dummy thick witch. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Goodbye. Let's go. Oh shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm dead. Damn, so is this game. Oof, awkward. The heroes fought valiantly, but they could not stop Dr. Junkenstein and his creations. The castle fell, the defenders were slain, and Junkenstein had. <gasps> I got game! Play the game! Oh shit. Oh, because of this. Yeah, I was beastie in that corner. I was killing them bitches. And this is a good way to end the video. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.